seems like everything is getting smarter these days. We talk on smartphones, drink smart water, and drive smart cars. And there's a lot of buzz about something called the smart grid. But what exactly is that? Smart grid technology is communication systems and computer control systems that make the power network in the United States more effective. There are pressures from an economic and technological and business standpoint that mean that we have to have a power grid that does things smarter and more quickly than it used to in the past. Smart grid technologies help us to improve the energy efficiency of the way that we use electric power, helps us to improve the economy of electric power use, and it also helps us to improve the environmental impact of electric power di distribution and generation. Southwest Research Institute is involved in all three of these areas of technological pursuit. So we're going to add advanced communications and control capabilities to the existing power grid that produces and distributes energy to users. Perhaps the biggest driver to get this technology online is to allow for the seamless integration of new, cleaner, renewable energies. Renewable energy resources are also called intermittent uh, resources. And the issue with those things is that you can't rely on them to be available anytime that you want them to be. From an electric grid standpoint, you have to be able to respond quickly when they're available and to figure out how you're going to keep the capacity for producing and, and providing electricity in balance with the demand on the grid. Smart grid technologies also would promote co-generation of energy production and more efficient use of electricity by end users such as businesses. For example, a manufacturing facility could cover its roof in solar cells, not only to offset their energy costs, but they could also sell back any excess to the power grid to add additional economic incentives. We must have smart technology in place to allow this to happen. It will, it will give them the tools and the information that they need to more effectively use electricity and in cases where they can do it to generate electricity and offset their electric costs by selling it back to the network. How will this technology drive efficiency? In part, by economic means. The law of supply and demand. The smart grid will allow producers to charge variable rates for electricity charging the highest rates when demand is highest and lower rates when demand is lowest. But what does that mean for the average consumer? Smart grid technologies give consumers the ability to adjust their electric power use and reduce their electric bills. An example of that might be uh, an end user who's got a smart dishwasher and that dishwasher knows that electric power is expensive during the day and less expensive at night. So it consciously chooses to wash the dishes at night rather than during the day. So it's good for the environment and our personal and collective checkbooks. How quickly can we get this new technology in place? How quickly can we revamp and smarten up our existing power network? The implementation strategies, the robustness of the communications and command and control systems are all evolving very quickly. One of the main things that Southwest Research is, is doing in smart grid research right now is evaluating the security characteristics of smart grid systems. We're looking at the security functionality of the advanced metering infrastructure devices like smart meters. We're also looking at uh, technologies for generation of wind energy, wind turbine technologies. We're looking at solar cell technologies. Uh, we're doing extensive work in smart electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid vehicles. And we're looking at the information infrastructure for the smart grid, making sure that all of this enterprise information flow that takes place is manageable, useful to the people that need to use the smart grid, and it allows effective decision-making and control of the grid.